surprised that we've made such decent time for having to walk pretty much everywhere. Oh, no. No! <laughs> Thank God the tree was there. Hello everyone and welcome back to DOJ. Today we are doing a prison escape and we are going to be taking our guy and trying to get to Grapeseed. This is going to be quite interesting because it was just raining and I was going to say, well, we have the rain to our advantage. Now we don't. So we're just going to be going and trying to get this guy through pretty much a very long area and hopefully we don't get caught. I don't see how that's going to work too well. So let's go ahead and get Grapeseed mapped up. Grapeseed will have a vehicle waiting for us. AKA a vehicle we have to steal inside there. We'll hopefully be able to get uh, Clothes or whatnot and if anything we could probably go to um, a clothes store uh, We have been able to make an escape from the prison without anyone knowing so pretty much we fucking I Don't know made a paper mache head and stuck that shit in our cell and they think we're sleeping just like that San Francisco Alcatraz fucking escape So now it's our chance to make it through a little bit of jungle so, they don't have any idea, so pretty much if we could just get- God damn it. If we could just get through a little bit of Joshua and 68 here, we should be good. Because getting through the airfield, all that stuff's easy. But just 68 and Joshua, that's where stuff gets really sketchy. So, I really don't know how we're going to perform this. But it's going to be interesting to do this uh, on a single player aspect, I guess you could say. Usually it's me and Bugs, but... As uh, episodes ideas, I, I just was like, this would actually be a good idea to do this, so... Basically, we just have to wait for it to be clear on our right and clear on our left and book ass... Hoping to God that we don't run into a cop. Um... It would be nice if I could head to a bush down there. That way I'm a little closer and I could... Check this out. I don't know if they would connect the dots though if they saw a guy in all orange. Oh God, I don't know what happened there. Damn, these trucks are smashing. All right, we're gonna have to do it. We just can't sit here and waste uh, time. So let's go ahead. We got to get to this big ass bush down here. It's not gonna be the best coverage, but it's gonna be enough coverage for the time being. <laughs> oh, that is so not legit. Okay, we're about to do it. It's hard to tell if these are cops though. That's the only problem. Oh, that's a cop. And I am straight in a fucking bush right now, <laughs> dude. I'm bushwhacking it. God. Oh, that's not good. It might... Uh-oh. Okay, it wasn't me. I was gonna say, dude, I could have sworn he was going for me. We're going for it. Oh, he's taking off. Yeah, we're going for it. Go, 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 go. Nice, dude. Perfect timing. Oh, thank God. Okay, one of the hardest roads has been passed. Now we just have to get through Joshua, which is another challenge in itself, but we should be able to do it, no problem. Okay, whoa. I'm surprised we even did that as fast as we did. Good shit, just making sure I don't see any cops. No, we are solid. Wow, one road done. We got one major one. This this stuff's easy, so we're just gonna have to run now. Uh, pretty much till we get to Joshua, but so far, so good. That's a cop right there. What is he doing all the way out here? He's on the back roads. Are you fucking kidding me? They would be on areas that they never go on. God damn it, that just makes one more obstacle we have to fucking work on. But he's driving away, so we might... Uh, we might have the chance to do this. I just gotta get through these roads here. Like this road right here, if another one drives through, we are fucked. I just gotta go. I need to get through this big-ass rock. I'm gonna go right there. Come on, baby, come on. Come on, run your ass off. Yeah, inmate. We should have pulled down our top. We can still do that. Not pull down our top. There it is. That sounds bad. Um, but yeah, let's do that just to minimize the amount of look that we have. There we go. Okay, I hear a cop nearby. This is not good. All right, we're in the rocks, though. So if we pass over the Sandy Shores airfield... Oh, fuck. I thought I heard a car, but it was not. Okay, I think we're good to start making our way. If they see someone walking on the airfield, though, we are fucked. I don't see any cars. We're going. We just gotta make it to that big hill like last time, and hope to God we will make it over Joshua. 
And I don't know if we're gonna swim or what we're gonna do, but we pretty much have to stay on our feet till we get to Grapeseed. Because that's kind of like the checkpoint area where I feel would be a good place to steal a car from. As of right now, I don't think that they know where I'm at or that there's an escape prisoner still, so... We are probably still good on that scale. We are coming up to another road here, which is the, uh... Railroad. Let me just go on this little berm here and look over left and right, just to be safe. Would hate to have someone come down the trail. Clear right. Clear left. Well, let's see. Before we do this, what would be the best place to cross? Probably on the middle of Joshua. I only say that because that way I could look left and right and then just go, like, right into the middle. Or maybe I can go halfway down and then get to this road. I think that would be the best idea. So let's go down. I need to cross, though. I need to... Ah, fuck. I'm thinking about what to do here. This is difficult. Maybe I want to stay on the other side of the railroad tracks in case someone drives down the trail. I'm not running down the trail. So let's do that. Let's let's be on this side. That way we have a little bit of safety because I can't see on the other side of the berm, probably. And we'll try to get a little further down so that way we can make it onto a road just on the other side of Joshua. That way we have building coverage and stuff like that. Because if we try to run over in the middle like we always do, we're probably going to run into the same situation where we're just exposed. We're out there, we're exposed, and it's super easy to see us. I love how it symbols a train, like you hear it. But there is no train that ever comes. It's deceiving as fuck. Okay, we are losing our coverage. Everything's pretty flat now. Alright, let's go ahead and check our map. See what we got going on. Alright, I'm gonna just... DPS it, so that way I kinda know where I'm going. Alright, let's do it. We just gotta run straight across and get up on this little hill. This is so sketchy. They have no idea what's going on, but at any time, a random cop can just come and patrol any area and totally see an inmate running. Like, what the fuck? Oh, this is so not legit. We're gonna be exposed like a motherfucker here, but... There is not much we can do. There is not much we can do. Alright, this is gonna be the moment of truth once we get over this little berm here. We'll be able to tell what's going on. Okay, thankfully I see no cops just parked on the side of the road, which is a huge plus. Hopefully as we're walking down this hill, no cops decide to drive on that road down there on Joshua. Plus, look over onto the hill and see me running on it. Which would not be good. God, I'm waiting any second now for there to just be a cop. If I could just get to the back end of these houses, dude, I'd be solid. I just gotta get to these fucking trees. Okay, one tree. We're good. Okay, I'm stuck in the tree. I am straight up stuck in the tree. Okay, there we go. <gasps> That's a cop. Dude, that's not good. He was smashing. That is so not good. Okay, I think we're clear left. Okay, we're running for it. Go, 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 go. Dude, this is so sketchy. You have no idea. This is so sketchy. We're just going for it. We're going to run right into the lake. And we'll do our swim straight across. Oh my god. We are in first person and this is so sketchy. I might not even actually go into the lake. I'm probably going to stick on the trail here. Like the dirt path. Yeah, this will be good. Go right through Sandy. All the way on the berm. We'll stick on the outside of the water. And we should be able to make it no problem. This is actually a really good idea. It's going to take a good minute, but... A really good idea, as long as no cops come on this road right here. We just gotta stay low. And we should be decent. I'm just gonna keep running, that's all I can do. I wish I had cruise control for running. And if any cops do see us, we have an escape route to our left, which is the body of water. And even if they scramble cops, uh, and boats, and helicopters, I'll still have a good enough chance and time to run across the... Uh, Alamo Sea there, and get to kind of that trail. I'm just trying to 
keep an eye on uh, this road. I should not take any chances to stop walking. I should just full on keep running. Try to make it there in as good of time as I can. We do got a lot of area to cover. Oh, this chick is full on working out. Nice job. Killing it. Killing it. As an inmate just runs past him. You gotta love it. Okay, good. So it's starting to rain too, which is gonna make it a little better on my end for trying to get through all this. I hear sirens. I do not like to hear that. That scares me. I'm pretty sure we haven't let anyone know that we've been running around like a fool though, so... I think we're still good. I've never noticed this little building here, that's crazy. Perfect place to sleep if we ever become homeless, so there we go. Alright, we should be good now, because we're in the behind the boathouse. We got a little bit of flat land, but other than that... Once we get to that berm dude, we are solid. We are absolutely 110% solid, because they will have no idea I'm on the other side of it. And that extends for quite uh, a period of length, and then that pretty much leads to grape seeds. So, I'm pretty confident in our uh, little adventure here that we're doing. We pretty much got to get to Main Street, uh, Grape Street, Main Street, Main Street of Grape Seed. There we go. I'm smashing shit together. Uh, if we could do that, then we're good. Thankfully, we have not seen any cops in uh, Marina. I hear a what sounds like a cop car, it seems like, but I think we're good. I'm gonna keep going. The berm is right there, guys. We can do this. This is so sus suspenseful because we've never got this far and haven't been seen before. Usually, we always get seen crossing onto Joshua, and it's just, it becomes a hellhole because we have to just fucking run. This time, I kind of can map out my route, and as long as I do it on the right times, and I don't sit and wait for hella long and get hella scared, they don't have chances to converge on me. Which is always a plus. Okay, we've made it to the berm. We are solid on that aspect. So now it's pretty much sticking to the berm and... ...getting all the way to Grapeseed. And once we get to Grapeseed, we'll pretty much have to walk on the shore over there. It doesn't have a berm, but... ...I would assume we should be able to get through it no problem. There's not many units that go back and forth on Grapeseed, so... ...I don't see it being an issue. This might be a little touch and go here because, God, if a cop decides to come over this berm and go, Yeah, I'm just gonna fucking check it out really quick to see what's going on. They would see me running, which would so not be legit. Because then it would be on and cracking. But I would have got farther than I've ever got before. Um, and if I, you know, if I ever do this again, I would like to take the dirt roads that kind of lead, lead through uh, Nowhere Road. I think that would be an interesting way to take. Uh, not many cops travel through there. And I think it would be decent uh, to make an escape if we had to. So here's going to be a little sketchy too, because you could see that berm kind of lowers into flat ground. But we do have kind of like a deep sea level here, which gives us just an oh excuse me, just enough of room to uh, kind of hide our body. And even if they see the top of us, we'll just look like a jogger. I mean, we don't even look like anything bad. And hopefully, because it's raining. Our pants will look a little darker, so they won't look as orange, like we're an inmate, which might be beneficial to us in the end. So, fingers crossed. Other than that, we are honestly almost there, so I'm, I'm very surprised. My thumb is starting to kill me, though. I could really use that cruise control run, because this shit is in fucking tense, dude. This is a no bueno situation, I'll tell you that. So far, so good, though. I've seen a few cops, maybe like three or four cops, probably. Um, usually I see a lot more, but that's because I sit there and I wait super long before I actually make a move, which probably is the worst idea. If you're going to run from the police, make sure it's clear, check both ways, and run. I mean, either way, you're either going to do it then, or you're going to do it later. So at some point, you're going to have to take a chance, so you might as well just take it. Glad we didn't take it that first time, though, on Joshua, when that HP was smashing down it. It would have been fucked. Honestly, it almost seems beneficial to cut across the lake, but I feel like just running it out since we've already practically made it in Grapeseed, which I was not expecting at all. I was thinking about getting scooped up in Joshua, honestly, and then that's where the chase would have ensued. I would have ran to Alamo Sea, and I would have stayed in there for the rest of the episode, so... You know what they say. At least this time, I was able to actually get somewhere and not have to dive into a body of water for an extended amount of time. I've never noticed this. It's like a little dam here. That's so cool. 
Huh. Awesome. A little bit of a swim there. Had a dive actually into a body of water, but it wasn't that bad. Okay, if we can keep this up, I think we might make it. Like, I think we can actually steal a car. If we can steal that car, we'll get out of Grapeseed and we'll head up to Polito. And we'll start a new life. And I will be shocked as fuck because this is practically the first time that it's went super smooth escaping from jail. So, there you go. We are almost there though. Like, I can taste it. And it's so nice. I'm a millionaire. Once I get out, I'll be a millionaire or two million, whatever. It'll be nice if I could hit a billion. That would be sick. Even though there would literally be nothing I could spend my money on. But it would be sick to one day hit a billion dollars in this game. That would take forever, though. Like, literally, it wouldn't even be possible. Okay, we got this. We are so close. We are on CV Road. We are coming up to Main Street. So, we're going to have to pass over CV Road here, which... I don't really know where we're going to do that without it being super sketchy. And I like how I'm an inmate, but I'm still receiving an unemployment check. Okay, we're just going to have to do it. If we waste hella time, you heard my theory. If you waste hella time, it gives them time to catch you. Okay, so far so good. And we'll use these farms and stuff to kind of get through to Main Street where's where we're going to steal a car. And this is just flawless. Honest to God, this is working so goddamn good. Awesome. Now we can just dead cow. Oh, little baby pig. Oh, the piggy. I thought it was a dead cow on its side. I didn't even know there were pigs in this game. That's awesome. Okay. We got to search for a car. And then we are out this bitch on our way to Polito. I hope they have a car down here. Because if not, we are fucked, we are fucked, and I am sure as hell not running to Polito because my thumb is going to give out any second. Oh, look at this house. Nice. We're going to steal that truck. These people might be home, so we got to play it smooth. Remember, I'm an inmate. I'm a convict. Living by the convict code. I really hope a cop doesn't choose to come down here. I will not be happy. All right, we're going for it. Straight out of their driveway. You got to love it. <clears throat> All right, we're going to roll the windows down to hide the broken glass. And we are on our way to Polito. That is what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. We're still... It's not over yet because we still have to get onto the highway. And somehow... Uh, then again, we don't have the jumpsuit on on the top uh, portion of our body. So we might actually be able to get away with it. No problem. As long as we don't get picked up by a... Uh, patrol officer or whatever, but then again, I'm uh, not trying to find out because I am a convict and I already lived the dangerous life, so we might as well speed. Home sweet home, so thankful there was no car there, that would have been so bad. Oh, this is so much better. Classic criminal lifestyle, just escaped out of jail, bashed the fuck out of the only car I had. Gotta love it. The cops will never know, dude. The cops will never know. Then again, it's not nighttime, so they, they might actually never know. <laughs> as long as I don't have to break near them. Oh, shit. As I say that, as I almost die. Don't, 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 don't. Ah, uh, okay. We're good. Solid. It is raining pretty bad, but other than that, I think we should be good. And we are on the victory road to a new life in a new area, escaping from the Bowling Brook Penitentiary. There is parts of cars falling off in the middle of the road. I have no idea what's going on. I think it was that car, actually. Damn, we're smashing. He's going 80. Those trucks are going 80. Holy shit, someone's going to die. Oh my god, everyone's going so fast. It's actually very shocking. And of course, I can't maintain it. We are going 92 in a stolen car. So that's solid. Okay, we got this. We got this. I'm actually very surprised that we've made such decent time for having to walk pretty much everywhere, steal a car, and then make it down to Polito so that way we can start a brand new life after pretty much running from your dick. Oh shit, dude. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. He's pulling over. He's pulling over. 
I would have, uh, have expected to see a cop down here. I'll tell you that shit. I'll be the first person to say that. I was not expecting that. We're going to take this dirt path here. Because if not, we're going to get screwed. There it is. Whoa, got a little sketchy. He wasn't sure if it was an AI, probably. He probably was like, uh... I don't know if that's an AI or not, but they were going like 71. Every time, though, every fucking time you're doing something sketchy, you know the cops saw you if they're gonna pull over like that. That's a boulder. Okay, if we stick on this trail... Oh, here we go. We gotta ditch this. I hear a helicopter. Oh, that's not good, dude. That might be real. That might be real. That might be real. Oh, yeah, that's real as fuck, dude. That's not good. What? Oh, he's, he's rolling up on us. He's rolling up on us. We're fucked, dude. We're fucked. We're fucked. Oh, we're fucked. <laughs> I'm going. I'm going. Go! <laughs> Damn it. How is that even possible? How is that possible that they just found us? How is that even a thing, dude? That doesn't make sense. How would they have got a helicopter up out of nowhere for no reason? That doesn't make any sense. It doesn't. It does not make any fucking sense at all. Honest to God. I would love for someone to fucking tell me how that's even possible. I'm gonna whip this stolen Jeep so fucking hard he has no idea, dude. I am not gonna give up. And just because I got a helicopter doesn't mean shit, dude. We got half a tank? Fuck that. I was gone, dude. I don't understand how they thought that they had any ability to fucking see me or anything. That honestly is pisses me off and shocks me. Because I don't understand how that's possible. Thought we are gonna lose this guy in the fucking forest. Because the helicopter unit... Oh, shit. Helicopter unit wants to play games. Oh my god, it's getting sketchy, dude. Bye-bye. You might have a Tahoe, but you're not gonna do as jank as shit as me, dude. I'm a fucking inmate. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna get busted out here. Oh my god. Okay, I am going ways that I didn't think I really wanted to go, but this might be okay. It's not too bad. We got a stolen Jeep, so I'm feeling confident. Oh shit, dude. God damn it, I fucked up! I fucked up again! God damn it. Oh, he's running after me, dude. Fuck. We are out this bitch. I am not gonna stick around and shake hands with this fucker. I'll tell you that. Run, run, you fuck. Jump and run, you fucking fuck. Oh, we're not gonna make it up that. We're not gonna make it up that. We're running straight through the tunnel. I don't know if anyone's gonna be coming on the other side of this tunnel, but uh, if they are... Well, we're gonna run right into the hands of the law, I'll tell you that shit. I don't want to look behind me, too, because fuck, that's how you slow down and get screwed. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stick, uh, my running and try to make it out of this. Because hopefully, I survive. If not, I fucked myself. Can I get up that? Probably not. Don't stop running, dude. Just keep going. This is the longest tunnel when you're not driving. I've just realized that. I still hear the helicopter. I don't know if he's behind me. Once we get closer to the end of the tunnel, I'm gonna check and see if the cop's still running after me. If he is, I'm going to panic and freak out. If he's not, I think I won. I still hear the heli though, so that's not good. God damn it, dude. Come on, buddy. You got this. My thumb and fingers are fucking giving out, dude. Oh my god, I don't see him! What? I'm an escape prisoner, and I somehow got away from the cop that was running after me. It's gonna take him so long to get cops up here now. Alright, we're gone. Oh, I hear so many cops, dude. Holy shit. We're gone. Nice. Okay, he has a vehicle, though. Come on, you fuck! Oh, no. No! <laughs> Thank God the tree was there. Oh, shit. Come on, dude. There you go. There you go, bud. There you go, bud. Oh, fuck. Dude, I hear so many cops. I don't like that. No! God, thank God for the trees. 
Okay, okay, stop! Okay, we got this, we got this. Come on, come on. I don't understand how they would've saw me. Okay, we're getting farther away from the cops on the ground. That's all I want to do, because the helicopter ain't gonna do shit. They can't do shit from all the way up there, I'll tell you that. Oh my god, dude. Fuck. I don't know how this happened. But the helicopter is going to have to refuel at some point, so that's a plus. God damn it, this fucking turned to a shit show. I, I, I don't understand how they saw me. That, that shit just bewilders me. Honest to god. I'm over here halo jumping just to get up a fucking goddamn hill. That I've already went up. Let me see if I can go up on the left side. Come on, halo jump up it, you stupid fuck. For some reason he does some weird stupid glitch up a bit, which doesn't make any sense. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I'm gonna just stay here and look really quick. Is there any cops? No, but this jackass is still flying up above. Let me see if I can go this way and just kind of walk. Oh, he can, he can walk up it nice and smooth, but he can't fucking run. Gonna get a little steep. Okay, don't, don't do that. I hate how it throws you back like that. That just doesn't make any sense. Oh my god, we're just gonna stay here in this little crevice. Yeah, we see you, bud. I hear ya. This is fucking trash, dude. I'm trying to think. See if I could try to get up this little fucking hill. If not, I'm gonna fucking roll down it the whole time. I gotta keep making my way somewhere. I just gotta keep going. Don't, you stupid fucking goddamn, goddamn fucking game. God damn it, dude. How to piss me off. This is it. This is fucking it, dude. I really don't know how they found me. I want to know. I would be so glad to hear this. I had made it so good. The only possible guy that could have saw me was that HP. Unless, unless they had that helicopter unit up and active. Here we go again. Okay, so practically we're at the point where we've made it up this little stupid ass hill, which was pissing me the fuck off. Helicopter unit's still up there. It's about to be nighttime. I have zero escape routes. So I just don't know what to do with life anymore. And there is a trail that they could pretty much come and get my ass any second, so... This is just solid. Oh. He's me. Oh, he's going. Guys, he's going. Oh my god. Okay, I need to... I need to figure out a way down. Where am I? Oh, fuck. Stab City's far. God damn it. I could go that way, but that's kind of the way I came, so I don't want to do that. What is this direction? The lumber yard. That's also the way I came. Son of a bitch. We need some type of vehicle or something. This is not going to work good. Because the helicopter is going to go refuel, and then he's going to be back, he's going to pick me up, and then these cops are going to find me. So somehow I've managed to escape the helicopter and ground unit that was chasing me. That sky looks so fucking weird, it's not even funny, dude. Like, what the fuck? That is trippy. I don't like that. Anyways, we're not too far from the fucking top of Mount Chiliad, so that shows how far we've actually ran up the side of the mountain. And how far we've had to run in general this whole episode. It's just been a fucking run fest. Um, I was hoping to see someone with a fucking bike or something. But I'm not... I'm not seeing that. This is just... <laughs> oh! You've got to be shitting me. And there's a mountain lion. Um... Help. <laughs> this isn't good. Maybe I should have let the cops pick me up. God damn it. Maybe there will be a parachute at the top of Mount Chiliad. Who will know? Just for sake of time, I'm gonna speed it up, of course, for you guys, and we'll get to the top of Chiliad here really quick. Okay, well that literally took fucking forever, so that's fucking fantastic. Um, other than that, we've now got to search the area and see if there's any bike or anything up here, which there usually is, but at night, I don't know if they would spawn them, to be honest. Um, and there's not even a fucking person walking up here. The whole time, I didn't see anything but mountain lions, which I had to dip and dive. I have no weapon, no knife. So, it's just been a really good experience up here. I think the only way to honestly end this episode is to skydive. Oh, if we even make it. Shit. Oh, of course. Fall on your face one more time, because why not? 
Okay, is there a parachute? And I do believe you can actually parachute, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, it looks like a map. Alright, we're gonna get out to the tip of the crane, because there's no way to get down from here. We've pretty much... We've made it away from the cops, but there's just literally no other way to... get out of this situation. So let me go ahead and get a parachute. I don't even know how this is gonna work, so we could just fall to our death. Hopefully they fixed it. If not, we're fucked. This sounds so jank. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, to wrap up an episode that practically was running the whole time being chased by police, let's get down to civilization. Oh, shiznit. Almost immediately died, and they did fix it. That's awesome. 